Hey y'all, welcome back to Mom Before Life. My name is Trina and today, girl, it is Sunday, March 3rd. I honestly have no idea what today entails outside of I'm going to be working, obviously. Um, I'm definitely going to Goodwill today. Y'all haven't been to Goodwill in so long. So hopefully everything is still 99 cents on Sundays. That's what we hoping for. Then I got to clean out the car and just other little stuff. They have spring break next week. So um, I've already done a little bit of grocery shopping, but I definitely got to go do some more. Y'all, when I say my period is i never realized how your cycle can like really disrupt your hormones like i have bumps like right here all over my face skin is like super dry when i tell you these days i am like the meanest nastiest person for like the first two to three days leading up to my period and two to three days into it like i'm just unpleasant to be around i i have a zero tolerance for foolishness and and at this point because i try not to be nasty to people i just don't say anything i just be quiet i just go in my room if i'm at home and chill or i just be quiet like if i'm out with my siblings or anything because like baby i don't even know i i don't even know how to describe it. i don't even know what to tell you um, it just it is what it is at this present point in time and so I, I try to do what I can the best I can to make sure that I'm not doing the most to people because it really don't even be that serious for me to be that angry but when I tell you like for about five days out the month I am on 10 for no reason at all like I just I really want to invest in something like helps with hormonal balance and like that PMS week like i need something um, i've seen a couple supplements in walmart but you know they're a little pricey baby but it's worth it to me because because i'm one of them people that just don't believe like just because you are on your period that means you get to be a b-i-t-c-h to people and so i've gotten to that point in my life where i realize now that sometimes people probably aren't trying to be a b-i-t-c-h it's just hormonal which doesn't excuse the behavior but let's get in here and get this order done it's a shop only order 30 units 42 items total and it is staying so we don't have to deliver that is good um it is 8 42 right now i'm thinking we should be completely done with this order at about 9 20 to 9 30 which will give us time to go to the dollar tree not dollar tree dollar general 39 minutes for them so I'm gonna go ahead and knock it out and I'll be back to see what y'all I'm probably gonna come up over here for lunch because I got some salads on sale I would definitely get this one this one look okay too uh, but I don't have a I don't have like a lunch bag with me to keep it cold and I know I'm probably gonna be in the goodwill for like an hour maybe even two I want to grab it, but let's go. I had a fountain milk for $2.39. This goes out March 17th, so still got a good amount of time left. I'll put this in mustard. Okay, so I got done in 25 minutes. I got a bigger bag because the 8-ounce bag is not available right now. I'm just waiting, trying to get a customer a little bit of time to get back, to get back with me. But I'm about to go check out the cleaner on to see if they have the... Um, Mr. Cleans in the regular size or did they remove them? Because the one on my side of town, I can't tell if they discounted them or not. Um, so they did bring it down, but they bring it down literally 20 cents. And the rest of them are gone, which is weird, but I didn't really think I'd find any. I just wanted to check. Um, that is unfortunate. All right, y'all, so I'm about to try to do a deal with the store coupon. It's $1.49. And there is a digital coupon also that's like a manufacturer coupon for 75 cents. So this should be like 75 cents if both coupons come up. Um, we shall see. But I'm going to go bring up my stuff first. We are back in the car. I'm done with everything. Bagging everything. Putting it up. And I did want to show you guys. The coupons did work. So the $1.50 coupon for the store coupon came off as well as the 75 cent uh manufacturer coupon came off so i spent 74 cents on this palm olive dish soap and i'm gonna look on about it to see do they have a rebate as well it is 9 42 i know i need to clean this car dust it real good but um, to head 
about to go on and head to Goodwill. Got like 20, about 20 minutes, but I kind of want to just go over here real quick. I might even run into a uh, Dollar General just to see what they have. I think I'm gonna wait though to after because Marcus damaged my car, left my bank card in the, in his car, and he he took his car to work. We have made it to Goodwill. I'm super ecstatic, ready to go shop, girl. I'm hoping that they still have 99 cent day. I was saying my brother, right? I left my card in his car, and for some reason, he thought it'd be a great idea to put my card that has a chip in it in his pocket and walk around the factory with my card in his pocket mind you his he has several cards that stay in the car but he wanted to take mine with him to spend the day at work y'all he messed up my car and so i had to order another one and i've literally just been stuck with using places that accept me loading my car to their website um so i really can't go to dollar general without him unless i'm using cash because i do have cash right now but i kind of want to save that for goodwill y'all but i'm gonna wait a little bit longer and then we're gonna go in so on this day i went straight to the skirt section normally i hit up the purses but i i i just wanted to go look at the skirts this day y'all and i they did not disappoint now i will say i should be ashamed of myself for not grabbing this this skirt is absolutely gorgeous y'all 89 dollars, and i want to say the red tags that day were 89 cents no i'm sorry red tags were 50 50 percent off y'all i'm tired i'm trying i'm trying to multitask but um they were 50 percent off so that 89 dollars beautiful skirt would have only been three dollars on that day and this is another one i found that had the tags on it i wasn't crazy about this one i didn't really like it at all but you know if you've got some time girl go through the racks at the goodwill you can easily find some unused items there this skirt was cute as well but it was not a dollar baby so i liked it um they they have some really cute skirts i love just going through here and y'all and just trying to figure out what my style is because i am grown as i'll get out and i still I have like an ideal of what I feel like my style is, but I feel like until I'm like wearing it, it's just I don't know. It's like a it's like a theory. So yeah, we're we're just testing stuff out now. Um, I on this on this day, I did find some very cute sweaters as well. Like they um, I love like the deep colors, like the magentas and the emeralds. I don't care if it's like a blue emerald or a, a green emerald. Like, I just love really deep colors. I think they look really good on my skin tone. And so I looked through as many of these racks as I could for those colors. I got tired though, y'all ain't gonna lie. I can go through like the same type of racks for a little while. And then after a while, it's just like, baby, okay, I'm done. Um, I got this as well, y'all. This is a two-piece little sit y'all y'all know what i say i'm i keep saying i'm going to church y'all i haven't gone to church yet but i'm gonna go i'm gonna i'm gonna go i'm gonna go did i put that back oh my goodness i ain't mad at myself i thought i had grabbed that i thought i swore i had grabbed it and i didn't put it back y'all see this what i'm saying i begin on my own nerves this is why i need to bring me a little thrifting friend i need to find a friend that does nothing with me outside of thrifty like that's what type of friend i need because right now i'm not really open to any other type of friend Unless it's like a Bible study friend in which I'm need to meet her at church. I'm need to, you know, at, that's a at church type thing. But I need a thrifting friend. I need somebody to talk sense into me and like encourage me to buy the things that I really want to buy. But I talk myself out of buying. And friends that are going to in, encourage me to put stuff back. Just because it's 99 cent that we don't need to give y'all. I, I recently went through a lot of my items that I've been getting over the past couple months. And when I tell you it's so much stuff, honestly, I'm gonna have to get rid of. I, that's a whole nother video. Um, I don't even know what to say for myself. Uh, I do know now I definitely need to start trying stuff on. I wasn't trying stuff on before. I was just looking at it and like, you know, eyeballing it like, eh, I could fit that. And like a lot of the stuff I got is like way too big for me. And y'all already know I have no desire to gain any more weight. It, it's quite the opposite. I plan on losing weight. Goodwill, and I did actually really got to take three bags full of sweaters, and I only spent eight dollars. So I came over here because I still have like 
fifteen dollars of the twenty four budgeted for thrifting and stuff for that. So I'm just look around. Probably gonna hit the cleaning. I've never seen this before, so I'm gonna grab that for the boy. They love them some takis. Trying to see how many. Oh, there's only three. So let me grab two. No, the youngest three are the only ones I like takis. Control doesn't. So let me look for something for him. grab to control this I uh, know he's not gonna use that spoon though cuz why is the spoon not wrapped up like why is the spoon on the outside yeah. I haven't seen this before either okay so we'll grab these two and tang up here okay let me see margarita mix wow I see these at the Dollar Tree I was wanting to get the hydrate one. I got energy, got 80 grams of caffeine. That's actually pretty decent. These were actually really good. Um, they have some other ones at the other uh, good Dollar Generals. They were really good. That's a good price. the dollar general got some goodies and i am a bit hungry tell me why it's 11 30 and i have not eaten anything today i think i got like a little bit of a panera drink i had from yesterday and i ran out the door because because that's what i do that's that's how i live i was thinking i could just go ahead and grab something quick to eat real fast and i was feeling a little damn because I was about to eat out. I can get full off of one burger, baby. But if I get my kids burgers, that's going to be two for Asante, three for Tashawn, about five for Imari, and Control is going to get about four. You you see how that add up real quick? So that's why I'm like, they got to eat at home, baby, because, you know, I, I know how to stay within budget. And I don't, I don't want to shame them or make them feel like I'm trying to make them feel bad because they eat. They are teenage boys, and so um, you know, it, they, I know they ate. I know they ate today because it was food there. <laughs> I'm the only one that ran out the house without eating, but um, yeah, I got a deal. So it's a dollar ninety nine for the burger, and I was being cheap with myself for that one burger. But then the coupon popped up where if you buy a burger, you get the free tot. So now it's worth it, baby. Because now you get a tots and you get the burger, a quarter pound double cheeseburger at that, for $2 and some change. I'm for that. I'm going to go drop this milk off because, like, it's been in a, it's been in the car for about an hour. Don't judge me. It is, it's pretty ch chill outside. It's pretty cool outside. And, um, and it's cold. Like, it's still very cold. So, I'm going to go ahead and run this home. I might stop at Kroger real quick to grab my kids the little starburst drinks i just seen um the little pink starburst drinks they have not had that hold on real quick let's see two dollars and eight stop playing with me 218 that's a good deal go and grab the starbucks starbucks I'm gonna, I'm gonna go grab the sonics real quick and then stop by crow go run in and grab those four drinks they're only a dollar a piece and then take those home to my kids y'all i don't buy them like that type of stuff all the time just because it's not healthy but um i feel very bad that i'm like not at home spending the weekend with them yeah i mean they're they're off for the next week so i'm definitely gonna try to get some time in and they usually try to spend time with me like when i am um when i get back home but a lot of times y'all i have like maybe 30 to 40 minutes in me and then i am out like i, I feel really bad lately that we haven't really had a chance to um spend time and if you don't correct those things like and address them in a reasonable time like it just becomes the new norm and i truly don't want that to become the new norm for my family i love like spending time with them i love uh being able to talk to them being able to listen to them them being comfortable enough to talk to me so i, I really want to keep it that way especially y'all like they're becoming teenagers now we just got to keep it try to keep it keep the family close you know gotta keep the family close
o'clock. It's about 46. And just a recap of what's happened since I last talked to y'all. I was supposed to go get me some Sonics, right? And when they tried to when they tried to hit the cart, it declined it because I had my cart locked. But tell me why I unlocked my cart and go back in. And they then took away the free um they want me to pay for the tots since the um burger is discounted. Had my car not been locked, I would have been able to get my food for two dollars and nineteen cents. Well obviously I didn't want it no more because I'm not gonna pay for something y'all offered me for free. So um I went home and I scraped the very last y'all don't I don't know if it's my kids, but maybe my kids will use just about everything in a bottle and put it back in the refrigerator. They'll get just about all of the juice out of the container and literally put a swallow back in the refrigerator, okay? So I'm like, I'm trying to hurry up and grab some real fast to eat so I can go ahead and get back out the door. I'm like, I'll just grab a peanut butter jelly sandwich. When I tell you I was scraping for dear life, to get the last little bit of peanut butter and the last little bit of jelly out of that doggone container, get it. I had the thinnest peanut butter jelly sandwich. <laughs> I was just trying to get some of my stomach. That was at 12. It is now almost 6, y'all. When I say my stomach is talking to me, I feel very nauseous. So I'm about to go to, um, I've been Instagarding as well. And I just picked up my brother. He went and seen his godson who has grown. I go, I can't. I don't know what it is, but little kids just grow up so fast these days. But yeah, I'm about to go grab that. And then I'm going to the Dollar Tree to see if I can find these Angry Bird socks that um, I wanted to get control. He said he liked them. And um, I need to grab some more wipes as well, like some cleaning wipes. So that is what we are doing, but I will see y'all in a little bit. All right, y'all. So instead of going to the store and grabbing dinner, I average about 15 to $20 when I... Um, get food to cook dinner for all five of us me and my four children gonna take that little 15 20 and go get some subway and i'm gonna get all of the boys pretty much their own subway so sante eats a half of one so i'm gonna give his other half to control and give control his ha his whole sub sandwich and then the other two are gonna get their own um it's bogo right now so you get one for free and then i have two dollars in rewards so I'll be spending eight dollars and forty three cent for Imari and uh, uh no Imari and Controls. They usually get the bigger sandwiches. And then Marcus is ordering two on his. It should be like how much? Like eight twenty one. Eight twenty one after taxes. Okay, cool. So that's like sixteen bucks for two no four sandwiches. I think that's a great deal. I'm gonna go ahead and pay for this. So that was when we're done with Dollar Tree. I can just go pick up the food and head home and probably i might hit up kroger real quick because one of my uh, orders they had a freaking um never mind i'm gonna grab them i should have got them they don't have the anchor bird ones okay let me look over here at the cleaning well, i've been looking for this orange one forever because they do not have the antibacterial one and so I have an orange cleaner that I've been wanting to use, but because I don't have an antibacterial, that's exactly like the same scent like orange. I haven't used it. I still want to grab like two or three, but I'm gonna have some straight and grab one. Um, but I am so happy I finally found it because none of the other stores, not even like the Dollar Generals, um, have it. Speaking of Spain, you used to have an orange one as well, but they don't even have it no more. So no, I know I can come here and grab it. This is what I got so far. I'll be glad when I get the beads again because they haven't had the beads. I actually like these little glasses. This is something my mama would buy. What's that? Washing machine cleaner. Okay. I just want to grab this just because it got Pac-Man on it. I definitely need some forks, so I'm going to grab these. So I'll help out when I am not at home doing it. Hey, baby, just in case we use up every dollar of forks, spoon, cup, everything. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry, brother. I'm about to run you over, child. Oh, sorry, brother. I'm about to run you over, child. 
I told you that that was an accident.